payroll or vendor check printing setup is done in a couple of different areas, beginning with configuration and then the machine menu. The machine menu gives you a spot where you can select your check printing options so that you can set a specific printer other than uh, your default printer if you wish, or you can just say use the default printer. Also you can choose the font you'd like to use here for your checks, and then any offsets off the top or left margins. Once those are set, then come back to the configuration menu system, and then go down to the payroll section area and choose either payroll or expenses and ledger check printing setup. We'll double click that to open it. Here we see a representation of your check. Beginning in the upper left corner, make sure you've selected the correct style of check, stub check stub, or with the check located at the top followed by two stubs, whichever is accurate. Also you can change the font size here if you wish from a smaller to a larger font and it'll represent that on the screen so you can see what the effect might be there. The elements you're seeing on the screen here can be moved around and replaced uh, by clicking and dragging with your mouse. The idea is that you get the elements located on the check where you think they should be and then click print sample at the bottom then print it out on a piece of plain white paper and then hold it up to your actual check and compare the placing. You keep moving elements and tweaking until you get it right by clicking print sample. If there's an element you'd like to add to the check, for example maybe an employee identification number, when you click add items from the checklist up here it'll come up to the upper left corner by default. You just click it, drag it to where you'd like it on the check and place it there. And once you have everything set up the way you'd like it, just click save and exit. And that's all there is to it.